Considering retirement, well, do you actually have enough money to sustain you for the rest of your life after you stop working? In today's video, we're going to be breaking down what you need to have ready for retirement to ensure you are financially ready for your future. Let's go. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Evan, a real estate agent and mortgage broker here to answer all of your questions. In the United States, we are told that 65 is the best age to retire because at this point you're allowed to access your retirement funds without any penalties and you can actually start getting the benefits of Social Security and Medicare. With the average American living to 77 years old, you'll have to make your savings last at least a decade plus. In addition, with modern science and medicine improving every single day, there's a high likelihood that you will live longer and exceed the average American life expectancy. So you may think you have enough money to last your retirement, but do you really? Here's a few ways to find out. Well, to start off, you're going to need to calculate your current and future expenses. While $2 million in the bank sounds very nice, if your expenses add up to $50,000 a month, unfortunately, you're going to have a very short lived retirement. You should write out what you spend now and what you expect to be spending in the future. So an example is your mortgage payment should be high right now, but it should be lower in the future when you eventually pay it off. In addition, with your health care, it should be low right now, but it should increase in the future as you get older. Seeing your potential future expenses will give you a better understanding if you are on track right now to meet those expectations. Also, just to note, you should keep your expenses at a moderate level when you retire because you'll be bringing in significantly less money. You should also try to factor in inflation. As time goes on, the cost of goods will increase, so try to consider this in your calculations. After determining your expenses, it's best now to look at your savings and also to see how much income you'll be bringing in once you retire. Some things to consider looking at are your retirement funds, bank accounts, emergency fund, pension, investments, social security, and any other sources of income or savings. Note, it's also a good practice not to include anything you might potentially get from your parents once they pass on. You have no idea when it's gonna happen, and also things may change between now and then. It's also a little morbid. Another thing to note, you will have to be aware of the potential taxes you have to pay on your retirement accounts if they are tax deferred, like your 401k and traditional IRA. So the money that is labeled in your account is not all the money you'll have access to because once you start withdrawing, that's when you start paying the taxes on it. For more information on retirement accounts, I'll be linking a video in the description and on the side. Next, you will need to determine a sustainable withdrawal rate from your savings during retirement. It is recommended to follow the 4% rule. However, individual circumstances can vary. During this time, you may realize that your preferred withdrawal rate and your potential future expenses do not line up. In this case, you may have to make adjustments to your potential future lifestyle and the associated costs that go with it. The goal is to live a very long and satisfying life, making sure that your money lasts the entire length. So that may mean taking fewer vacations every single year, but that also means you won't have to go back to work at 84 once your money runs out. As I discussed in my emergency fund video, emergencies are bound to happen and can be very unpredictable. As we get older, the likelihood that an emergency is health related goes up significantly. Hospital stays and assisted living facilities can be very expensive, so make sure you're trying to live an active lifestyle and that your fund is easily accessible. Preparing for your retirement is something you should be actively doing, talking to professionals and any other loved ones or friends going through the same process. You should also be making adjustments to your plan as time goes on because things can change. Also, these tips don't just apply to the people who want to retire at the traditional 65 years old. If you were younger and think you have enough money to retire at an earlier age, then by all means do it and enjoy your life. But make damn sure that the numbers line up and talk to professionals to ensure that you don't have to go back to work 10, 15 years from now. And with that, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.